Hey, today I want to show you our outdoor shower that we recently built. Now this is meant to be a temporary shower. Uh, by temporary, I mean six months to a year. We are currently working on our basement back here and we're going to frame that in and we're going to be putting a bathroom and a shower in there. But for now, we needed somewhere to shower where we're not just on the front porch where people can walk by or, you know, just a little more privacy. broke out the trusty oak pallet wood that we get for free. So I'm gonna to try to use as much of that as possible because I still have a bunch of that. So I'm gonna use that to connect these two sides here and those two sides there. I'm walking down to a friend's place. He has a lot of extra metal roofing and he always tells me if you need something, come down and check because he's got a pile of it. He's a contractor, so he's got a lot of leftover stuff. All right, I'm back at the cabin. Um, I did get some metal roofing from uh, my neighbor. It's this snap together stuff where it hides the uh, screws. And he had uh, four pieces just long enough to do the roof there and just wide enough so that will be perfect. Okay, I uh, ran out of juice in the old battery for my camera and it started raining, but I pressed on, got a little further, and finished the shell. Here it is. We'll get up inside here. So I got it high enough so people coming down that driveway over there wouldn't be able to see you. I'm gonna put a bunch of sand down here and I've got some big slabs of flat rock I'm gonna put in here. One of the most time consuming things is using repurposed wood and just digging up everything that I think I have and finding it and then uh, you know piecing things together. So it has taken me longer than I would like but been able to reuse a lot of stuff that's an old piece I've had laying around all these cedar boards I've had laying around that I got somewhere for free long ago got the free pallet down there we've got the oak pallets from the empty propane tanks that we go collect those pallets and this side I kind of hodgepodge to uh, some stuff together just to block off that because there's people who live over here so I wanted that fully blocked in the back. <laughs> All right, it is the next day. We uh, pulled a bunch of sand out from down at the river and brought it up in buckets. We've laid it down inside the outdoor shower under the pallet and on the floor. We're gonna put in some big old, uh, what do you call those things? They're big slabs of rock, I forget, but uh, <laughs> kind of like slate type stuff. We have had the that rock laying around for oh, years. years. We've hauled it from one place to another, so. Where'd we even get it? Jim. Oh. So yeah, we're gonna work on this now. And look who's here. It's Jen. Okay, I'm gonna hand you the camera. Okay. I think Flagstone was the name I was looking for, right? I Flagstone. think so, yes. All right, here's another. Oh, the Cinderella, you about done there? We're... <laughs> <laughs> a 
We just mounted that EcoTemp L5 on the wall here, just outside the shower, kind of in the little changing area. Um, we just used these little flat screws. All right, so I'm heading to Ace, or even further, Lowe's. We were just finishing putting that uh, EcoTemp L5 together and the fitting they give you for a, I think it's a half inch NPT brass fitting, it broke, it's super cheap. So I would suggest if you're doing one of these, you replace that thing before you even get started. Okay, Ace did have the part I needed, so I didn't have to drive the 45 minutes one way to Lowe's in town. So got the part, now I'm heading back home. This EcoTemp tank comes with everything you need really to get started. Um, but again, I would replace that fitting because it's just junk. You might get away with it, but just be careful when you're tightening it because it'll just pop it right off. It'll come apart. Other than that, the unit is great. We are just using a little five gallon propane tank right now. In the future, we'll be hooking up this 25 gallon propane tank. I uh, dug a trench around here and put some drain rock in there. That way the uh, water when you're showering will absorb a little better than just kind of sitting there. And it does go over to a drain field right there. I also added a little bench seat and changed the, uh, the direction of the shower. So I've got this little bench seat here. And there is a piece of wood that kind of goes across that way to try to make sure it doesn't snap when we sit on it. I had this old hook laying around, so that's going to be for a towel and some clothes there. And then I changed the direction. Like I said, the shower head is facing this way now instead of facing out towards where you're going to change. So hopefully that'll keep the water confined to this area a little better and not soak these uh, rocks on the floor. Jen did score a shower curtain at the Goodwill for like two dollars so we'll be putting that in. The idea is to have the shower curtain go across and then open up to where it can kind of block off the changing room after you take a shower. So I'm going to show you this outdoor shower uh, in portrait mode, then I can capture the whole top and bottom and sides and everything. So there you have it, there's our outdoor shower, our temporary outdoor shower, and kind of went a little fancy, uh, but this thing's gonna be up for a while. So we just wanted to do it upright, make it comfortable, make it look half decent back here. Thanks a lot for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Shower time at the cabin. Shower time at the cabin. Oh, you knew that was going in here.